Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope from the 8th of April to the 14th of April 2018. And this is for you coming from Gemini. Well, first I want to talk to you and tell you that I do charge 50 USD for a 90 minute Skype session. I'm getting many calls and emails expecting it to be free. Well, normally I will give this message towards the end of the program. Obviously, nobody waits until the end of the program, so they don't hear it. So I'm going to now announce it from now onwards in the beginning of the program. Let's talk of Sunday the 8th. And for you coming from Gemini, it's going to be a very good 24 hours. Morning, they are slow planets, but they're okay. Slow planets means long-term planning. So things of a long-term nature are there for you to plan with meeting people for long-term efforts, trying to get into a long-term mode of the job area or the business area. And these long-term planners can also make you get together with people of your past. You'll be very happy to meet them. Evening nightfall gets even better. Now the planets speed up. And when they speed up, they bring luck very quickly to you. So be out and about, mix with people, socialize, mix business and pleasure. Take out the people who, that you love, meet all of you, meet your people you work with or the people you do business with. There's plenty of advantage. It's a perfect day to strike contracts, to make good business contacts, to get very good help regarding improving your job or to just be happy bonding with the people you love. Everything will work. The ninth Monday for you, aggressive planets are seen. Be careful the words you use, be careful the actions you show. Take the soft approach and you will come out much better with it. You need to be careful that whatever happens, it is easily blown up to become aggressive. So don't you be the person who gets this done. If somebody else is behaving that way, try to soften the atmosphere, stay calm, keep out of an argument and stay away from people who are a bit aggressive. Drive carefully because aggressive planners can make you drive aggressively. Evening nightfall turns extremely good and lucky for you. You can meet the people you want, you can be with the people you want. Everything works to your favor and you probably get solutions in the evening nightfall where you earlier part of the day you couldn't and everything results well for you in the evening nightfall session. And so if you are rebuffed chasing for a romance earlier part of the day, try your luck in the evening nightfall and you'll get the better result. So evening nightfall, you are going to be watched. There's every chance of you gaining from something or another. Thursday, uh, sorry, Tuesday the 10th. And Tuesday the 10th is a very important day for you. But your ego comes in the way and you like to take the lead and that's not good and you want to take charge and that's not good because these couple of planets make you do that only to upset other people and have other people compete with you so why don't you let others take the lead and they'll be on your side and support them and they will help you so rather than want to be in the limelight let others be in the limelight and you will get all the favors anyway. You can meet some important people. So as I said, let them feel important. You don't want to show your importance and you will get some advantage. Evening and nightfall period turns bad. So bad meaning that things like accidents can happen. Accidents can be physical, emotional, verbal. Something is going very wrong. So I'd rather you go back to the safety of your own home but if you have to be out, be very choosy of the company you are going to be with. Don't drink too much. Don't be in the company of people who have bad habits. Otherwise, your, your reputation and your outlooks are also going to be suspected. And so, be cautious that whatever you say and do can be used against you. So, don't want to share your secrets with anybody either on this evening nightfall period. It's not going to end well, so be careful. The 11th Wednesday, a lot of water planets are in the morning, afternoon. They make you dreamlike, they make you distracted, they make you think of doing things which are not very important. So it's a working day. 
and whether it's a job or whether you are in business, don't waste the morning afternoon period. Tell yourself to set goals. First thing in the morning, write out all the things you have to do and one by one do them. This way you will make these water planners turn into logic planners and they will then help you to get things done. But if you go dreamy, dreamy, then it will be a waste of the morning afternoon period. You will be very emotional in the morning afternoon. So don't get carried away by little uh, things said which you might translate into, into insults. Just take it easy. Let the hours pass and concentrate on your duties at work or in business because you can be distracted. Evening, nightfall, some long-term planets which are very good for you are there. You might be a bit impatient for waiting things to develop in the evening nightfall period you, because from Gemini you are used to doing things very fast. But tell yourself these long-term planets are good because they bring me long-term opportunities and long-term benefits. So go along with these long-term planets, wait your time, wait for things to develop. You are going to get something very good done for yourself morning or afternoon, sorry, evening periods or nighttime periods. The 12th Thursday starts really very bad. And I mean bad. If anything could go bad, it would. And so all areas of your life, the job, the business, the personal, the marriage, the romance, every area is waiting to go bad. It's all up to you. Tell yourself you are not going to be stubborn, you are not going to be dominating, you are not going to stir any kind of trouble. You are going to in fact just listen and be quiet. And that way you will see that nothing very much happens. A little bit trying to spark something to trouble but you are not helping it so it will quite quieten down. Be careful in business or in your place of work you can make very bad mistakes and you will have hell to pay. And be careful with your job. Your bosses may just turn against you and bad news may come that way. Or in business, you may just get some bad news as well. So bad news is hanging around a lot in the morning, afternoon and early evening period. And so lie low. Don't stand up there like a sore thumb. Just play safe, do what you have to do, be the politest person, be supportive, be appreciative, nobody will turn against you. Evening and nightfall aggressive planets are there. So there we got the morning, afternoon troublemaking planets, here we got the aggressive planets, wow. It can be fireworks in the evening nightfall session. So if you don't have to be out, just go back to the safety of your own home. But if you have to be out, just tell yourself, take the soft approach whether verbally, whether in action. And that way you are not going to rifle anybody's feathers and you are not going to get anybody upset in terms of having said something. So be polite and everything will go your way slowly. These aggressive planets can also be the planets of determination. You may just be determined in wanting what to get what you want in the evening nightfall period. Don't do that because you'll be stepping on toes, it won't end up well. So take the soft approach. If you don't get what you want, another day. Don't worry. 13th Friday starts brilliantly for you in the morning, afternoon. But there is a planet of ego there as well. So cancel out the ego, control the ego and you'll do very well otherwise. Morning, afternoon also are planets that bring the unexpected good news, whether in job, whether in business, whether finding a romance, whether getting good news in the family area. Something brilliant is going to happen for you morning, afternoon. So go for it and you will see that you get a, something very advantageous. Evening nightfall, the ego planet wants to be taking charge. But luckily, some of your good planets will also be there. So again, control the ego, cancel it. Try to let others take the lead. Let others feel important. Just enjoy yourself, relax. And you will see that the morning afternoon periods can bring very pleasant surprises, unexpected meetings. So some fun can be had in the evening nightfall period with some unexpected things happening for you. Even unex unexpected romance or unexpected meeting of a chance for business or for job enhancement. Anything can happen. So be out and about but don't be egoistic. 14 Saturday starts brilliantly for you in the morning, afternoon. Everything you want, you get. 
good news on the phone, good news in email. Everything you decide to plan works beautifully. And others want you to plan it because it's a leadership planner that you have as well in the morning afternoon period. Try to slow down a bit because you'll be in your element in planning everything to go tip top and very fast. Slow down a bit because others may not have the speed that you have in this morning afternoon. And so just slow down and things will go beautifully morning afternoon and also a bit of the early evening. The evening and nightfall itself Many water planets are there, but that's fine. These water planets can be very emotional. So evening nightfall, by all means, emotional planets are welcome. So there's love in the air and you may be sometimes oversensitive to what is said. Try to relax. Don't take anything too personally and you'll be able to have a good time in the evening nightfall period and meet people also of a business type or help you in jobs as well. Because the business planets of the morning evening are also seen in the evening period. Well, that's the week I'm talking to you about. And yes, I'm charging USD 50 for a 90-minute Skype session. And I'll talk to you about all areas of your life for your next seven or eight or nine years. And with all this in mind, I will be using your date of birth and your time of birth and looking at your palms and even face reading you while we Skype. So I'll have a lot of information to give you. And the, the best thing of all in these years that I'm going to tackle age by age and calendar year by calendar year, you, it will be in detail. So go to Facebook, go to Skype, leave me a message, send me an email and I'll come back and help you. And we'll meet together and on, the, on the Skype and let's get down to the 90 minutes. Until then, thank you and good luck.